Hi, some of my friends requested to create a video about how to create a Google Scholar profile. So, in this video, I am explaining how to create a Google Scholar profile. Google Scholar profiles provide a simple way for authors to showcase their academic publications. We can check who is citing our articles, grab citations over time, and compute several citation matrices. We can also make profile public so that it may appear in the Google Scholar results when people search for your name. Creating a Google Scholar profile offers several benefits. The first one, collect our work in one place for other researchers to find. The second benefit, track citations of our work automatically. The third one, show up as the first result in searches for our name. The fourth one, allow users to follow us. The last one is, receive notifications of our new publications. Let us join along with me for the demonstration. So this is a Google home page. For reaching the Google Scholar, I am typing the search bar as a Google Scholar. So once I type, I am going to enter. So once I give the enter, it leaves the next interface. There you have to find out the, the scholar.google.com. Then you can click the, the Google Scholar. There is a hyper link. Once you click here, it leaves the Google Scholar user interface. And you can see the right side corner, you can find out the sign in. We can click the sign in, otherwise we can go to directly my profile because my intention to create a Google Scholar profile. So we can go with the both option, whether we can go to the sign in or my profile. So both it may be working here. Now I am going to click as a my profile. Once I click the my profile, it automatically is asking our normal Gmail credential. So even if you have the institution mail ID, you can create it. Some people having the confusion with the institution mail ID only we can create this kind of Google Scholar account. It's not at all correct. We can create a normal Gmail account or this kind of Google Scholar. I like to create a Google Scholar account for this account. So thiagumook at gmail.com. So this uh, particular ID only I'm going to create a uh, Google Scholar profile. Therefore, I'm click here. Once I click here, it automatically asks the, the credentials, the, nothing but my password. I am already given my password. After giving the password, go to the next button. So once you press the next, it plays the next page. Yeah, so it asking uh, the protect your computer. So I can give the confirmations. So the recovery mail ID and the confirmations may asking. Yes, after giving the confirmations, it leaves the next level. So there's a three steps to create your profile. The first steps we have to give them the preliminary details about our profile. The second one, we have to uh, add the articles which you published earlier. The third one, we have to do some kind of personal settings. Now see, the first, the profile, for creating the profile, we have to give our name. So the name, we have to give the, the publication sets. Generally, we may publish the article in some specific name. So like first author, second author. The same pattern, we have to give the name. So generally, I may publish the article, Tiago K. Therefore, I am giving the name as say, Tiago, then space K. Then the second one it asking the affiliations. Here I am putting as an Aston Professor, Aston Professor, Central University of Kerala. So I am giving my affiliations. So even if you have any confusion in this, they are given some kind of example also. And the email for verifications, there is no need to give for the institution made it in this case. Okay, it's not, there is no compulsion. Um, therefore, you can leave the steps. Okay, so there is no need to type here because if you have the institution made you have to type. You don't have institution made It's not at all an issue. Don't type anything here. And area of interest. This is much important. So you have lot of area of interest, or you, you are doing some specific area uh, in the research under. So here you have to type here. So generally, my area of research, I am typing as education technology. Education technology. Then ICT in education. and mathematics education. So I am giving my specialization like this. So what is your area of interest? You have to type here. Suppose if you have some kind of home page of your institution or your own, you have to give the URL ID. It is not compulsory, it's an option one. So after typing the basic information like name affiliations as to the area of interest, go to the next. Once you go to the next, it moves to the second step of the articles. So because the names which I give as a Tiago Keno, 
therefore automatically the kth yavu names based article it may listed here so which of the articles is available in the online in the web sources it may show here here we have to select the article which is ours sometimes the same name someone's uh, uh, published with the uh, with the same name therefore we have to crack check whether the article is ours so for example this 34 articles no so if i click here i can see the article so all the 34 articles uh, is published by myself only because uh, everything you can see the kthya kthya and i have some co-author also so after select suppose i like to add all the 34 articles i am selecting here so all the 34 be selected and click the the small arrow mark once i click the arrow mark it moves the next level so like this i am partially i'm adding some of the articles which is published earlier from my end so automatically it may be detecting based on the names so there's two steps to over the first step is to adding the some basic information the second step you have to add some of the article which you published uh, earlier uh, which are the sources already available in the online it may list out based on the name there we have to select it after that we have to go to the next button the last step is the setting so here they are given some kind of setting option scholar automatically finds your new article and chances to existing article suppose if you want to apply updates automatically you can click this suppose email me updates for review you can click this so which is better for me you have to select it here for me i click as apply updates automatically the next two important things profile visibility always keep the uh, profile as a public mode otherwise the people cannot be uh, use your uh, they could not check your the article which you published earlier as well as they could not check your citations h index and all so always keep your profile as uh, make my profile public so after selecting this options click the that so now i created a google profile google scholar profile so very simple step see once i added the the details automatically showing my citations h index i10 index so this way we have to create a profile so very three st simple steps only step number one give the basic informations of yours then second add the articles the third one give some kind of setting the personal settings you have to do it after that it, you can see this kind of my profile view so here you can see the citation h index i10 index and some kind of graphical representation also here i'm added only the 34 articles only uh, which is listed uh, in the normal search suppose i like to add the remaining articles how we can add by manually how in the sense see in the home page uh, you can click the plus symbol there is a three option they are providing to all the articles. Add articles as a groups. Add articles. Suppose I like to add the article manually. So some people have the confusion we can upload the article in the Google Scholar. It's not at all possible. We have to add the, the descriptions of the article which is published the earlier that we have to add it only. So we have to type the, the journal number, issue number, the article title. That one is possible. We cannot be upload the article directly from the Google Scholar. So some people having some kind of wrong understanding about the Google Scholar. Here we cannot upload any article. Only we add the add the article descriptions on. Suppose I like to add article manually. Once I click the add article manually, it's giving the lot of options. If you like to add the journal details, title, author's name, publish publication date, journal, volume name, uh, volume number, issue number, pages, publishers, everything we can add. Even they give some kind of example also. Suppose you have published uh, some of the uh, articles in the conference uh, proceedings. For this, you have to go to the conference. They are asking the title, author name, publication date, conference, volume, issues, as well as the pages. Suppose you publish the articles in some chapter writing or you contribute some of the chapter writing. That you want to be add here. Go to the chapter. There they are asking this much of details like a title, authors, publication date, book, volume, number, pages and publisher. Suppose you publish the book, that book you want to add here, you can go to the book and title, author, publication, day, volume and pages you have to give. So you want to add your dissertation work or thesis or any uh, project's work, you have to use these options, title, authors, publication date and institutions. Similarly, the pattern, if you have any pattern, you can add through the pattern options. If you have some kind of court case that also you want to add, you can add here. Suppose there is, they given other option also. So there are other options like the title, authors. So some of the things is not come under this like journal, conference, chapters, book, thesis. You have to add that particular details through the author mode. So like this, we can add your the article which is published earlier, book which is published earlier through manually in this mode. 
So once you add like this, automatically the citation H index is being changed based on your credentials. I hope this video is me helping you to know how to create a Google Scholar profile as well as how to add an article. So if you want to add the co-authors and all, you have to go with the co-authors. You can add the co-authors team. So like this, we can explore the other features of uh, the other features here. It's a very simple tool and it's very much essential in the case of the, all the research scholars as well as the, all the, the academicians. So thank you. We will meet in the next video. Bye.